Hello everyone! Hey! And welcome to Uncut Gaming! Where we don't edit our videos. But we keep playing deck building games. Yeah, yeah. It was my idea after we finished the Dominion series to have the... Go uh, watch it. To have the stuff that are Dominion-ish. Yes, inspired by... Yeah, I, I think calling this inspired by Dominion is an understatement. Yeah. Some people would call this a Dominion ripoff. Yeah. But welcome to Heart of Crown. Yes, the Asian Dominion. Or at least the manga Dominion. That that I can uh, yeah. accept. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think there's anything Asian about the game. No, not necessarily. Although there's one card called Shinobi. Yes, that's always nice. Yeah. Okay. So, um, do you want to give a general in intro before I start? I was just going to mention that we were like thinking about whether or not to try this game. Oh. And then I saw it in a store in New York and I was like, well, we didn't buy enough games this visit. Right. Let's get this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, in what's the name of the game? Heart of Crown. Heart of Crown. All right. <laughs> It's it's such a generic Princess, name. Yeah. It's difficult. Heart of Crown. All right. So in Heart of Crown, the king has died and has left no instruction as to who will succeed him. Yes. And he has some um, daughters. And we have... <laughs> and oh, my God. Did you not read the rule book, honey? They are not all his daughters. Just... There are. These two are his daughters, and the others are different relatives that are also oh. eligible for the inheritance. Oh, right. You're right. And we're playing um, royalty. <laughs> um, and we Better. want... Yes, we are playing royalty, and we want to first back up a princess, to select a princess that we want to uh, succeed him, and then we will gather up... Um, support. Support for her. Uh, every card, every support card, which is called succession card, has a succession um, number on it. And once we get a princess and succession cards that amount to 20 succession points or more, we win the game. Mm -hmm. That's the aim of the game, to get yes. a princess and then to bring to her domain at least 20 points worth of succession cards. Okay? All right. Um, just like Dominion, we start with a hand of five cards every turn. I'm just gonna move this so it doesn't. Confuse yeah, we people. can. Yeah, we can move it out uh, at all. Okay, um, took it out. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so we start with ten hands. Just like in Dominion, we have ten cards. Oh, sorry, seven cards that are worth one coin, minus two succession points. We'll get to that in a second, and three cards which are victory cards. Uh, which are worth minus two points. Mm -hmm. We'll get to these points in a second. Now, during your turn, after you have um, looked at your five cards, you can play cards. Uh, you can play whatever cards you want. There are no, there is no distinction between card types. Uh, now, once you played a card, if there is an arrow one or two, you can play additional cards. So after I play this um, farming village, I can play another one and another one, and that's it. Um, um, after I've played up all of my cards, I can purchase cards using tax coins that I've accrued. Uh, let's say I, I buy this card, I place it in my discard pile, um, and then it is your turn. Mm -hmm. um, now, let's say that I have purchased enough cards so that my hand looks like this. Um, in this case, I have on my turn um, eight coins which means that instead of buying cards from the market, I can back up a princess. Each princess costs six, but each princess has a special ability. One, some princesses have a, have a um, one-time ability, others have passive abilities. We'll get to the princesses when we actually back them. Now, once I backed a princess, uh, it, it is placed in front of me, it's called the domain, and I take the three most uh, expensive lands that I have in the mm -hmm. turn and place them under her or sort of near her. Okay. Yeah, this is to your detriment because you actually lose, right, lose some cards. of your uh, money generation. Correct. Now, once I have this, there are a couple of options that are open to me. First, on my turn, before I play cards, 
I can put cards under the um, um, territory. territory cards. As long as they're cheaper than them. As, lo as long as they're cheaper or equal. Um, and likewise, I can pull out cards from those domain cards whenever I want. So it's just a temporary storage for cards, uh, uh, which is nice. The sorry, other thing that you can start doing is um, when you have succession cards in your hand, you can add them to your domain. And now I have six succession cards for me. Again, the point of the game is to have 20 or more. Now I do want to say that um, um, after you've uh, laid down your cards, you can either buy cards from the random market or back a princess or um, take cards from your hand and succession cards from your hand and put them on your domain. And you're so it's not either... restricted in the number of purchases you can make from the market, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. Nor from the basic market, for that matter. Yeah. Um, but um, it's 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 either one of those options. You cannot combine them. All right. Now, once your turn is done, let's say you purchase some cards, we we will refill the uh, random market. There will always or almost always be eight cards he here. That Until are the actually is depleted. Yes. Yes, there are actually ten action cards, different ten uh, ten different action cards in the deck, which I've selected according to the uh, recommended starting set, um, and we will refill them so that if a card is already here, we'll just put it on top of the existing card uh, type, but otherwise we will fill the uh, random market until we have eight cards. That's it, basically. So basically, just to, to sum people up, yep. you don't have plus buy, unlike uh, Dominion, unlike Dominion. because you're unlimited in your buys. However, the market isn't fully open. You don't have 10 copies of te each of the 10 cards out there. Mm -hmm. You have five copies of each yep. card, and the market is refilled constantly. Yes. Another small thing is that unless you like badly mismanage your plus actions, you will always be capable of playing yeah. almost all of your cards. Yes. Very few cards actually block you. Most of the cards have at least one arrow on them. Yep. Some of them have two arrows on them. Yep. And uh, you will usually play your entire hand. Like, all right. These two are blockers, but right. that's pretty much it. Okay, so let's go over them. Yeah. Sure. Go ahead. Uh, first one is Wishing Well. Discard as many cards as you wish from your hand to draw the same number of cards from your draw pile. Uh, what was that? You can't read them from it's here. It's a government contractor. Ooh, okay. One coin, written twice, second time in a weird font to help you. Yeah. Instead of your discard pile, you may place any cards you buy during your second phase, which is the buy phase, this turn on the bottom of your draw pile in whatever order you wish. In a revealed state. So when they come up, you know they're coming yeah, up. Yeah, that's something that I never understood. Why does yeah. this game have revealed cards and unrevealed yeah. cards? But it does. It also gives you one coin. So even though it's yeah. not that powerful, it still gives you money. Infantry the, Battalion. Yep. It's an attack card. Mm-hmm. Go for it. So it's two coins, and any opponent who have five or more cards in their hands must discard one territory card from their hand. So basically a coin generation card. If they do not have any territory cards, they reveal their hands to show that they don't have any. The scout costs two. That's also an attack card. Each player, including you, reveals the top card of their draw pile. You may choose to discard any of the cards revealed this way. Mm -hmm. It's called a scout. Yep. Then there's the post ho uh, horse, which allows you to draw one card. Yeah, that's a plus one card, plus two actions. Plus two actions, correct. Bettering ram, draw one card, and then select and discard a card from each domain of each opponent. So basically the things that are under your mm -hmm. princess yeah. or under the territory cards yeah. once you actually have a domain and back the princess. Discarded, and it's not considered an, an attack card. That's interesting. Um, because it doesn't attack your hand. Yeah. The Alchemist allows you to draw two cards. And lastly, the Rampart uh, is one coin, and then it has a defense. I do want to mention the defense effects. Uh, you use them by showing your card from your hand or from one of your territories. Oh. So you can start from one under your one of your territories, and you can just reveal it, 
and that's it and it and stays it's there stuck in the territory forever that's kind of useful it's not stuck there i mean you can take it out but it, you can yeah you can you can just there. put a nope card yeah. permanently out there that's nice yes so it's rampart defense effect if an opponent attack card makes you discard or reveal cards this reduces the quantity by one Okay, so it's not that potent. It doesn't cancel yeah. the attack, but it's still very yeah. nice. Okay. okay. Did we skip over the... The what? Alchemist? Nope. Okay. I didn't. That is true. All right. So I'll start. And okay, so I have... I'm going to play this slowly just for the first turn. I'm going to play a farming village. It uh, allows me to get a coin. There's an arrow. So... This is the end result, three cards, and I will buy a post horse. Everything goes to the discard pile. No. This gets replenished by another post horse, and it is your turn. Okay, very good. Now I have a village, which leads to a village, which leads to a village, which leads to a village. So four villages. Since I have two buys, since I have infinite buys, actually, I'm going to take a post horse. This gets replenished immediately at or the at the end of, end of my turn? turn. Very good. And the scout. Okay. Now I had another That's card, which was the clumsy maid, which I did not use. Yeah. Now a new card type has come up. The Royal Guard. It's another attack card. Costs five. It gives you two coins. And then any opponents... Who do not have the topmost card of their draw pile currently revealed, apropos this card, um, must reveal the top three cards of the draw piles. In each case, select one of the cards from those revealed this way and make the opponent discard the rest. That's okay. nice. So now I have four villages and I will get... Um, I guess I'll get, um, an infantry battalion. Okay, we're going full-on aggressive. Uh, it's I like further, it. We yeah. play Dominion a bit more tamely. Yeah. Okay, so I have three villages and two clumsy maids, so that's three coins. And I will use that to buy a city. Okay. It doesn't feel the one, same two, without three, the four, development, five. city development card. There is card. one in the deck. Oh, okay. Yeah. Again, three with which I will get the mm, final get a city. Will I? Yeah. I don't know why I revealed my entire hand. It doesn't matter. Post horse, draw one card. Yep. And the rest is utterly uninteresting and just a lot of villages in the city. So that is a six. Mm -hmm. And I will use this six to buy mm -hmm. myself an alchemist. Mm. Okay. So I have to refill before yeah. you decide. Now we keep drawing till we get a new card. Yep. Which we did. That was fast. Okay, so I'm going to draw a card uh, from here. Okay, okay, and so I'm playing the infantry battalion. Do you have a defense card? No, I do not. Okay, so any opponents who have five or more cards in their hand might discard, must discard one territory. Discarded okay. one territory. So now I have one, two, three, um, five. So let's get um, that has the most revealed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's take the post horse and the government contractor. Okay, we have two slots to fill. Mm -hmm. Another government contractor is back and. A deve city development. Now this card is new. What it does is uh, you pay one coin. When you do, you banish, which is a trash, a farming village from your hand. 
After that, you take a city from the market and put it in your hands. So it goes upgrade. back to your hand. That's very nice. So it's up, it, it's upgrade for a coin. Either one coin from farming village so to city. city or two coins mm -hmm. from, from city, city to, to large. large city. Yep. So that's very nice because you trash them and doesn't just stack up in your deck. Yeah. Okay, my turn, right? I think so. So I'm scouting you. So each player reveals the top card of their deck and I choose whether they stay or they go, this goes. Yep. Okay, and I have two farming villages, which is a measly two. I will get a rampart so you can stop assaulting me. Yes. If you're scouts, wishing well goes up. Another po post horse. Okay, so post horse for one card. Another post horse for one card. Um, all right, so a government contractor, that's one coin. And now instead of uh, getting moving cards to my discard pile, I can put them on the uh, bottom of my draw pile. And then in, in terms of cards, I have again five. <clears throat> the really government want... contractor. Oh, sorry, I have six. Yes. Yeah, so that's a large C. Wow. wow, I'm so impressed by your large city. Oh, honey. which is going to go under the, my draw pile, okay? Does that the, work? The counselor. How does the that contractor. work again? What, isn't it from your hand? So, um, this turn, bottom of your deck pile. So, you buy. Whenever I buy okay. cards, they go into the bottom of your deck. My bad. Yep. Okay. So I have an alchemist, which is plus one action, plus two cards. And I think the rest are just money. I mean, the rampart isn't very useful at this point. Mm -hmm. So that's a three coins. Okay. I am disappointed in my own yeah. draw. I'm gonna take the post horse. Okay. Because that's a I love scout. me some horses. This is a rampart. Okay. So I have three. I will buy a wishing well. Very good, honey. One, two, three. So scout, once you're done shuffling, show the top card of your yep. deck. Now we'll decide what we do with One, it. One, two, three. Five. This is the top card of my deck, Farming Village. Uh, farming Village goes away. So I have a five and I'm gonna use it for city development. Very good. Since that'll let me trash some cards and we've created an opening in the market. So an alchemist yes. is up for grabs. Okay, so uh, one, two, three, and a contractor. So that's Four plus three, that's seven. So that's another large city, I think. Oh, you, you're definitely correct about that, but how do I stop you from generating so much money? Honey, you're winning. No. Draw one card, and Rampart, and a lot of money. So that's a five, that's gonna be an alchemist. Very nice. Let's keep that engine going. That's a government contractor. <clears throat> Royal Guard, okay, we've seen that. Wishing well, port horse, okay. So, post horse, not port horse. Um, another one, a wishing well, okay. Let's play the Wishing Well and let's discard all three farming villages for three cards. One, two, and three. That's a ballsy move, honey. Yeah, and didn't pay off. And then... But you have plenty of actions. Yeah, and then um, any opponent who has five cards must discard one territory. And this is it. So... I discard one territory. I have three. Um, and with it, I will... Purchase a wishing well, I think. Not too bad. I scout you. Okay. So that's one, two. I draw two cards. 
Uh, and I get a farming village. Now, uh, I just want to... Farming like, village? Uh, yeah, kick it out. Okay. I don't want you having money. Um, sure. Okay, so it, this is my state. I have two coins now. I played a development city. I use one of those two coins to uh, trash, which is yep. what they call banish. I banished an entire farming village. They are now outcasts and refugees. And I got a city in return. I still have one coin from here. Correct. And I have another city. So that's free coins. Yep. I will use these free coins for a post horse. Okay. That's another scout. This is an infantry battalion. This is a scout. This is an infantry, infantry battalion. This is an infantry battalion. This is a rampart. Which we have next yes, to the rampart. Have, yep. And Royal Guard. And uh, Bettering Ram. And Alchemist. Very good. Where are all the city developments? I don't know. Draw one card. Draw one card. And one, two, three. So that's a five. Five is an alchemist. Done. Okay, so I have two post horse. Yes. Says. So I draw two cards and so another post horse. So I draw another card. Rampart. And that did not help me at all because I just have two. I'll take another rampart because you have quite a few attack cards yep. and I don't want to be attacked as often. And yep. this just reduces the probability. Wishing well to discard just the one to draw a card. And then one, two, three, and an infantry battalion. So you need to discard a territory. Mm -hmm. And now I have five again. Five will be a city development. I scout you. Just a sec. Bettering city development. One, two, three, four, five. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. It's I've... a apprentice maid. Yeah, you can keep that one. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I, I think it has Probably to be revealed, revealed yeah. just in case. Yeah. Okay, I play the city, and then I play a city development, mm -hmm. and then I banish this entire city. Yep. So I can get a large city. Yep. And the large city, I'm sorry, I keep folding them as if it's Dominion, but it's not. So I spent these two coins, and now I have these three from the large city. Yep. I'm going to buy a city with the free coins, which is... I, I don't think that's to my benefit, I'll be honest. What do I want to do, honey? What do you want to do? I'm going to take uh, the battering ram. Sure. As another defensive card. And then uh, we'll see where we go with it. It's not really a defensive card. It's not at all. Select and discard a card. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I got confused you between that and another. Actually, I think so. Wait, I'm just This gonna, goes here. Yeah. I'm going to go with the city okay. and stick to my guns and that's One, it. One, two. Oh. Uh, yeah, let's... Oh, I know what's coming up. Uh, yeah, let's do this uh, still. Okay, so I have six. Six is a large city that it goes under the deck. Your turn. I have to... Uh, One, two, three, four, five. I have to start reshuffling them. Okay. Because I have an alchemist and I have to draw two cards. Poor you. So I'm going to play the alchemist and I'm going to mm -hmm. draw two cards. Yes. And I'm going to play the alchemist and I'm going to draw two cards. And I'm going to play a post horse and a post horse. So I draw two cards. Uh, you get a scout. Okay, that's an apprentice maid. Oh, you can keep that one. Thank Enjoy. You. And now I have one, two, three, four. four. 
four plus four that's eight. is an eight <laughs> Very good. Thank you for the help, honey. I You're needed welcome. that one. You're welcome. I'm going to get a development city and I'm going to get a city. Sure. So another contractor and another city development. Uh, okay, so I have just the four and I'll get the city development. Your turn. Ew. Okay, uh, farming village. I used the coin I got from it mm -hmm. to banish a farming village and upgraded it to a city. Now I have a city. Is there anything good worth two? Just the wishing mm. well, the rampart. I'll or get the, the rampart. Okay. I have one scout and it's been doing its job. Alchemist for two cards. <clears throat> um, a village and then a city development to pay that coin off to banish this card and get a city instead playing the city and then playing the infantry battalion which forces you to discard a territory card. i have a rampart very good if an opponent's attack card makes you discard or reveal cards this reduces it by one so that's zero right zero, right okay yes. good and now i have one finally they Sorry. paid off i used it so i have just the four the four will be used to get an by the way when you're scouting you're doing it on yourself as well right yeah always yeah it's good yep um i guess i'll get a city it's not that bad yeah Mm, I have to shuffle One, because two, I have three, to draw a card. Four. Five. Okay, drew a card. And now I have... One, four, five, six. Alchemist. Another alchemist. Um, okay, so a horse, a horse, and um, yeah. So one, two, and three. So and I have eight. eight. I don't remember if I need to. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay. So I'm going to choose a princess. Wow. Let's go over the princesses. You read their names yes. too, honey. So there's the um, second princess, Laulili. Okay. Yeah. There's her twins. No, it's not. Uh, when you back her, acquire up to five royal maids, which is basically 10 points, but they sort of, you know. They dilute um, your dead. deck by a bit. Right. So that's one. Let's say it's good. Next, there's the. Um, Lulu Nasaika. You're looking at me as if I know how to read that. That's six points. That's also not bad. Then there's the Scholar Princess Bargamot. All right. Um, activation ability. Discard a non-cursed card from your hand. Two, take an action card from your discard pile and put it in your hand. You can then use this ability once during the main phase of each of your turns. Mm -hmm. So you discard a card to gain a card. That's also not bad. Um, uh, next is Princess General Flamaria. Uh, when you back her, you may acquire two cards from the market with a cost of five or less. Also, when you back her, you do not have to move any farming village cards into your domain. That's not interesting. Then there's Princesses Lane and Xion. Okay. When you back them... Put X twin counters on this card. X is equal to the number of princess cards that other players have backed plus one. So for me, it's just one. And then the activation ability is to remove a counter. And then you may take another turn after your current turn ends. You cannot use this ability to take more than one turn. X this extra. is a great catch up mechanism. If you're yeah. the last in yeah. a four player game, you just take those yeah. and you have what? Five free turns. Yeah. Free, four free turns. Yeah. It's a lot. Yeah. South Sea Princess Clam Clam. Um, your cost to buy a card is reduced by one. This cannot reduce the cost of the card below zero. 
That's also nice. So I'm going to take the... Um, but so you, pu you put her in the trash tier pile, but you said she's nice. Her? Yeah. Yeah, she's nice, but I know who, who do I want. I want print, um, Scholar Princess Bergamot, mm -hmm. uh, which allows me to discard a card to take a card from the discard pile and put it into your hand. Yeah. Very good. So, okay. So this goes back it's here. It's any card, right? Yeah, it's a non-curse card. Okay, and those <clears throat> free territories go underneath her. Right. So let's just do this and this. No, actually, let's do just this. Okay. Okay. So now I have a domain, which means that I can now, um, A, put cards underneath my territories, B, buy succession cards, and C... I think you could have bought them before, no, but you I, couldn't I think, have used them. No, I think you cannot. And oh, okay. Yeah. And three, I can start putting succession cards under the princess to start backing her. And again, my goal is to get to 20. Your turn. One, two, three, okay. four, five. Okay. I uh, scout you. Okay. So that's and then a I post horse farming. Mark. Wait. Yeah. Uh, farming village. Yeah. Kick away. Okay. The city stays. And then I play a post horse. So I take it. And now I have a six. And I'm going to use this six get an alchemist okay we're almost at a market which is yeah. nice city development okay so i'm gonna um <clears throat> use a farming village and then a city development to pay that coin in order to trash a farming village and replace it with a city and then i have um five money and five money is a city development Last card. Yep. And that's it. We One, no two, longer three, four, draw five. stuff from the market. Yep. So post horse and alchemist. That'll be a one, two, and three. And that's a ew. But we'll see if I can make it work. I have two ramparts, which are two coins. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to use a city development on a city since I have two coins. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to get a large city. Mm -hmm. And that is it. Because I'm out of money. Okay. Wait, the large city, I, I can use it, right? I can use it, free coins. Do I need anything costing free? Nope, done. All right, so a city and then a city development to trash the farming village and replace it with a city. So that's one coin left. Plus two coins. Plus the... Um, Four coins. Yeah, plus the government contractor, that's four. So a four will be, um, yeah, two ramparts. I think Very that's good, interesting. Honey. And I can put them here if I want to. I played an alchemist, took two cards, played a post horse, took two cards, played an alchemist, took two cards. Oof. And now I have a lot of money. Mm. How much? Um, let's see, one, two, four, four six, seven, seven eight. eight. Wait, uh, is I it? think that's, that's a seven, seven yeah. yeah. Okay, so what I could do, which could be interesting, is to take the princess that you uh, so abashedly said is horrible. Uh, when you back Princess General Flamaria... Uh-huh. Are you, you sure? I, before you continue, if you put this farming village in your domain, you'll get minus two. Also, when you back her, you do not mm. have to move any farming villages into your domain. So you'll have just the one city. That's fine. As okay. far as I'm concerned, as a catch-up mechanism, it's okay for me. Okay. So I have Flamaria. I have one city underneath her. Yep. And all these go back into my discard pile. Where are the princesses? In my discard pile, I okay. think. Okay. So they can go out of the game. We don't need yeah, them. Yeah, we're not going to use any of them. Bye-bye, princesses. You're bye not going to... You're be not going to be winning the crown. Nope. Okay, so... But they may win the heart. Oh. Wishing well to discard two cards to draw two cards. Um, and then I have a rampart, 
which I will be placing here for when you attack me. And now I'll, oh, I'll have the alchemist as well to draw two cards. So that's one card, which I will also store. Okay. All right, so another rampart to store here. And now I have, let's see. Mm hmm. I'm useless. Okay. So that's three and that's two. Uh, and you, you need to discard me, the I have a rampart. Sorry, rampart. Yeah, very good. And now I have five. A five will be. What does the royal guard do? Any opponent does not have the tumbles done revealed. Mm. It's two coins, though. Yeah, but this is two coins as well. Yes. Um, let's start. Let's take two. Ooh. What? I, I'm supposed to acquire two cards. Oh, so acquire two cards. A cost of five or less. Okay, I'm going to take two senators. Is that allowed? I don't see yeah. any reason not. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's fine. So I still have I five, so fine. I'll take the senator as well. Shuffle them in. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I lost my money cards. I need to gain more money now. Okay. Okay, my turn. Right, mm -hmm. right. I'm gonna put the rampart over here. Yep. Because that's nice. And wait, let's start with a scout. You reveal nothing because you have a truck ton of ramparts. I reveal this. Draw one card. Draw one card. And I have a four and a senator. Now this is where it gets interesting because I could use these four to buy something, but I don't really need mm -hmm. them. So I'm gonna spend my turn putting that senator underneath the princess. Yeah. Okay. Um, post horse to draw a card, wishing well to discard two, to draw two. And then I have um, four, with which I will buy a... City. Alchemist to draw two cards. Mm -hmm. And now I'm lamenting what I should do. I think I think I'm gonna play uh, the two ramparts and the large city, mm -hmm. which is a total of five, mm. so I can buy another senator. Very interesting. I will play a city and then a city development in order to, to use one of the coins. one of the coins to discard this to gain a city into my hand and now I have a another city which is um, three which is not a lot um, the so three is a city yeah another city I guess. Okay, I can store only one card underneath yes. them, right? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Those gonna dump all those maids. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, the other way around. Large city, city development. Yep. So I have one coin yep. remaining from here, and this will be a seven. Mm. A seven isn't as much as I want it to be, mm -hmm. but I will use it to buy another senator. Okay. Uh, the post horse itself I'm gonna store here for later use, and now I have exactly eight. Eight will be a duke. You bitch. I need to remember this, the duke is going to be uh in my discard pile yes so i need to remember that i okay. draw a card i play a scout which does not affect you yeah i'm gonna discard this 
I don't need city developments at this point in the game. And now I have a four and I'd rather not use them. So I'm Ooh. putting a senator underneath my princess again. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Right, okay, so hello. Um, Hi, honey. Yeah, let's start by, um, yeah, let's start with this. So you need to discard one territory, but you have the rampart, right? Yes. So yeah, so I'm not. Uh, you not, still get money from it. It's yeah, not I'm that not going to use the money, I think. So I am going to whatever discard a card to get my duke out of my discard pile, and then I'm going to use, uh, and then I'm going to put cards under in my domain instead of purchasing cards. So I'm going to put the duke and the senator under her, so I need to remember that I'm on nine. And just like that, you're in front of me by a couple of points. One, two, three, four, five. Now, I have a senator which I could play, mm -hmm. but I think the beneficial thing would be to play all my gold, mm -hmm. which is a seven. Mm. That's just not enough. You could theoretically take it for an eight. You know what? You're right. Yeah. I took it. I used it for an eight. I got mm. myself a duke. duke. And hopefully I'll be able to catch up soon. All right. So wishing well uh, to discard one, draw one. Um, post horse to draw one. Hmm. And now a city with a um, city development to trash, to banish this for a city. Uh, that's another coin, so that's a total of three coins. At three coins, would be a city. Post horse for a drawing a card. Alchemist to draw two cards. There's no point in using the scout. Doesn't do anything for you. You know what? It does something for me. Okay, scout. I'm gonna. Gonna keep the city development this time around. Maybe it'll be beneficial. And money wise, I have five. I'm not gonna use the five. I will take two of those five and I will put them over here, which I think I can do. Hmm. I don't think you can put territory cards under territory. Can cards. I put succession cards there? Yes. Okay. Then I will put this maid. To take her but, out of her misery. Uh, but it does count to your domain. That's fine. I can okay. take her out. Yeah, that's true. You know what? Fine. Just saying. I don't know. I'm just... I'm going to put the senator here. Okay. And that was my turn. Okay. Nothing fancy. Nope. I was going to fancy up, but then he done stopped me. Yeah. Wishing well to discard one to draw one. Alchemist to draw two. Interesting. And then um, a a city to develop it into another city. Very good, honey. And then that's one. So that's um, three, six, seven. Mm, so I haven't done that. No duke. Oh, whatever. So that's gonna be a duke, and I'm gonna put the duke in my discard pile instead of uh yeah what's this oh everything is a discard pile oh no it gets reshuffled into my deck and i want it into my discard pile tough uh draw two cards from the alchemist draw two cards from the alchemist and draw a card from the post horse and that's it no more cards to draw I will play a farming village to development city so I can trash this into a proper city. And I will. Uh, hmm. And I will play two ramparts so I can development again and trash this city into a large city yep and now i have six six i think you have seven hmm? i think you have seven 
Either way, it's not an eight. Yeah. So, so it's a senator. Know. Senator. <clears throat> okay. A wishing well on two cards to draw. No, just on the one card to draw a card. That's good. Uh, that's a seven. Oh, but this is an eight. Okay. Good. Right? Tut, tut, tut. Tut. Yes. Their turn. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, two cards and a card. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I know what I'm doing this turn. Two cards. Other than, you know, burning through my cards. Yeah. I'm going to put the rampart over here for future use. And I will take the senator and the duke mm. and send them both to the princess. Make sure you have... Um... I can count, but I have 20 under or... 20. Okay. This is... You don't have to tell me how much you have there. So I'm drawing a card. Good. And then I have two, four, six, um, nine. A nine is a duke. One, two, three, four, five. Your turn. Yeah. Draw a card. And um, I'm going to play this in a development so I can upgrade this. Theoretically, I have four. Wait, I have two coins remaining, right? Because I banished the city. Okay, sure. I use these two coins to get this. And now I have only a three, which doesn't matter because I add him here and I'm at 21. <gasps> The base oh, rules no. base rules say you have a turn now correct to try to get over 20 i think yes. i don't have a, a choice i don't i i won't succeed because okay so i'm gonna take this card and use it to draw a card no now i'm gonna um discard a card to take the duke and i can do it only once so that is it. So you're on 20. I'm on 21. Yep. Yeah, very good. I am on 15. So you win. This is, yeah, very 21. Good. Very good. I did not make any mistakes. Very good. Okay. I and had another duke here. I but think that's gonna have gotten me to 21 as well, right? I think yeah. all of my succession cards are in here. That one that was mm. mainly using the alchemists and the post horses to get them mm. out of my deck because you probably have more victory cards in your deck than me. Uh, I have just 21 and you have an additional. Maybe, I don't think. I, I think I had a 21 as well. No, you have. Maybe, yeah, maybe a little bit more. Definitely a lot yeah. more. You bought like you bribed those dukes hard, honey. <laughs> yeah, hard. Uh, okay, let's start with thought. Let's continue with thoughts. I'll start. Sure. Um. So you I. Hate it. No, I don't <laughs> hate it. I do think that it's um uh inferior to Dominion. I. I like the fact that it's different in the sense that it's not it's it's a race and not victory points. Theoretically, it's a race. It's a race to twenty. Race sort ish. Of. It's a race yeah. to the prin. It's a race ish to the princess, and it's a race ish to the twenty. But yeah. it's not. It's it's not clearly a race. There's no. Yeah. There's no leader. Yeah. Per se. So I would say, and I think this is what you're gonna say, that if you you've tried Dominion and you don't like the fact that you need to um, only you like that all of the cards are always available to you theoretically, the um, supply cards I mean, um, then you should try this. Um, maybe with the expansions we're playing with the base set and with the sort of recommended um um cards for um beginners uh, maybe the other cards will make it better but there's this 
uh, there's a certain amount of like it's more randomness the randomness to strategy in my opinion um, leans towards randomness in this as opposed to to dominion um, um, but you know like again I like the fact that you can store cards in your dominion but that's sort of also happening uh, sorry star cards in your domain uh, which is also happening in dominion uh, for some cards at least um, so yes I think that is it I think well the, the, the another maybe positive thing, thing that I can say is that I think this is more um, thematic than dominion um, it sort of tells a better story I think you don't have to be nice in your review. You can. No, 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 no. I'm saying no. I, I, yeah. I think I've, I've said everything that I need. To, like that, I think of. I, I didn't um, criticize myself. Okay. My turn. Yes. Yay. Uh, first of all, this is definitely a Dominion knockoff, so it's impossible not to compare it to yeah. Dominion, and we are playing it as far as I'm concerned as part of our Dominion series. Tech builder. Yeah. Because that's what it is. It's, yeah. it's a Dominion ripoff. The thing is, it changes a lot of things which I fundamentally dislike about Dominion. Changes them for the better here. Yes. Yeah. Not everything. Not everything works here. But I love the market. Yeah. I really do. The fact that Dominion is basically looking at the, the market in Dominion, reading them and saying, oh, this works with this and this works with that. Great, I'm going to buy nine peddlers and then you will do nothing because I have plus nine every turn. Yep. That's how Dominion works. That, that's part of the game. Part of the end game conditions in Dominion is having... Uh, another thing I dislike is that Dominion has too many cards. Always. You have ten copies of each card because running out of those stacks is part of the end game. And here, you know, we ran out of market and no one cares. Yeah which allows them to have less cards. Yeah, so there so, are only five. So you have only five, and then you don't have a case of one person buying six, seven copies of the plus two actions, plus two cards, and yeah. just, you know, engineering you to death. Yeah. So these are subtle changes that I very much like and very much appreciate in the game. Hate the race. Here? Yes, here. Yeah. I hate the race. If we can house rule it some way, in which we can play the game without the race, I would be very much happy. However, one of the benefits of the race is that the Senators, the free VP cards, are actually more dominant than the Dukes. Yeah. Which is something that does not happen in Dominion ever. It's a yeah. race to the provinces. Yeah. Every game. Yeah. Every single game is yeah. a race to the provinces. And in here you have some variety. Mm -hmm. I also like the fact that it has very uneven pacing. I understand mm -hmm. that a lot of people will dislike it, but... Buying a princess, even though it's just six and you can get six very easy, yeah, is a big deal. You lost eight. You yeah. lost like your biggest money cards early yeah. on and that just stopped your yeah. engine in its tracks. And that's part of the game. Yeah. That's why the princesses are also so different. Some of them are useful as catch-up mechanisms. Some of them are useful, you know, when you're leading and you get that princess that's already six victory points. Yeah. If you would have taken her, you would have won. Yeah, uh, maybe. I mean, I used her ability once, but yeah, maybe. Maybe, theoretically. But you see, there's a lot more variety here mm -hmm. with the exact same cards. We've been playing mostly with the recommended cards. Yes. Most sure. of the time. I don't think I've ever seen one of the cards that draws a curse. Yeah, we've never played with a curse, actually. It's interesting. Maybe we'll, yeah, maybe we'll get the ex one of the expansions and then we'll you know, throw everything out and then we'll we'll be able to show viewers other more advanced ways the game can play out. So yeah, if you've played a lot of Dominion and you're either ambivalent to it or, uh, for lack of a better word, bored of the rigid flow of Dominion, then this is a great idea. It's a very interesting twist on pretty much the same base game I yeah mean, a lot of the cards are taken from dominion the yeah. scout yeah is the thief from the dominion base set. yeah exact same card yeah however i hate the race i really do and 
the whole thing feels like you know just just a little bit more and it would have been a wonderful game there are a lot of things here that are just weird like the double text on the coins or the fact that the phrasing on some of the cards is just inconsistent oh in some cards they phrase it one the action one way and one they phrase it the other way it's just i don't know maybe that's because it was translated but yeah Mm -hmm. the art is mostly better (laughs) than the minion yeah you can add that as well i actually really like the 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 art and some of the cards i don't like the princesses they look yeah very very cliche but Mm -hmm. some of the soldiers and some of the cities are actually really nice yeah this game's yeah this game also suffers i think uh from a little bit of sexism uh the fact that the the starting cards are apprentice maids and it's very clearly shown that they are clumsy it's a trope but the boob chemist come on yeah come on yeah was there really a need no there wasn't but yeah sure whatever yeah so that's a problem um which i think uh, many games recently have are trying to fix um showing more um equal representation um but yeah that's another component of the game which i I got the warrior princess yay (laughs) all right anything else no, I, I recommend it to very, very specific people. Yeah. Like I said, and you don't recommend it. Um, try it out. I mean, it's not a bad game, but I think that Dominion is superior. Uh, but again, for, for the reasons that I've mentioned. Yep. So in any case, we hope you enjoyed this video and review, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.